All we are doing is questioning things and interpreting policies. And in that document, there was a reminder. Only we, as men, can interpret things. Only we can interpret the scriptures and know the will of God. Only we, as men, can speak for God and know the truth. And in essence, they are claiming ownership of our church. And I don't use this word lightly. It's a serious word. And that word is heresy. Heresy. This is heresy for men in, the, in our leadership positions at the Vatican. For them to say that our all-powerful, our all-loving creator gives them and only them the power to speak for God. For these men to say that only we can speak for God, let us call it by its right name. This is heresy. And we must write, we must call, we must email, we must reach out to our church leaders at the Vatican and our bishops beginning right here in our own community and wherever we live and say it to the bishop and to the pope and to our pastors, you as men do not speak for God. And what you are saying is a lie. What you are saying is serious because this is heresy. God speaks through everyone, men and women, of all races and all cultures. And stop this, what you are saying. Stop it now. We will no longer be treated this way. This is a very abusive relationship. I hear that, and it hurts me as a Catholic priest to travel around the country to hear this word abuse. How so many people, especially women in our church, feel that they are invisible or going to church feeling abused by the language, Amen. feeling abused by this letter that's just been received from the Vatican by our nuns. And what I believe is important, really referring to your question, if you're asking that, is for us to say something not to be silent. But when we say it, I do hope it is out of love, that it's out of concern. We are speaking out, breaking our silence, because what that document, eight-page document, is doing is causing suffering. It's causing not only our American nuns, our sisters, to suffer, but it's causing their family, their loved ones, their friends to also be in anguish and to suffer. And this is not acceptable. And in a loving way, I think it's very important to let our church leaders, beginning with the Pope and the cardinals and the bishops and our priests, wherever we are, to let them know how you feel, what's in your heart. And I think in time, this this is a very very this is a, a very very pivotal moment we're at now in our church, a defining moment, and something is happening very important. And right now, what's most needed is for us to break our silence. And I'm filled with hope because this last week, friends I have not heard from for a long time. Good friends who have left the church said I could no longer be Catholic. I could no longer take the discrimination and the pain of the way I've been treated. And they called and said, I am angry. I am angry. And I want my voice to be heard. And so I think let us join our voices together. 
And this is the way I think change happens. 